So <laughs> my three things uh, for marketing, and I could talk forever about luxury marketing. It's one of my favorite things, and I'm going to be doing a blog post. Don't check right now, but check back later this afternoon on sandyhibbardcreative.com on my blog. And I've got these notes that I'm talking about, except expanded, expanded um, on luxury marketing. But there are three things that I want you to remember in your luxury marketing and these things come directly from the horse's mouths not mine this isn't me these are from agents who are tried and true uh, luxury agents from across the united states and these are the three most important marketing aspects that they utilize in their luxury brand number one is personal marketing uh, when you're building a brand you have to put your best foot forward always you want to make it through the front door and the way that you do that is by having a reputation precede you. Uh, marketing yourself as a luxury agent begins uh, long before you become one. Uh, you need to present yourself as someone who can totally be trusted if you want someone to trust you with a multi-million dollar deal. So personal branding is key. Um, go back and look at your Facebook and Instagram posts. Make sure there's not any wild and crazy things on there that would kind of um, Put a mark on that because that's really important if you're going to be in this business uh, second thing and uh, robbie touched on this is creative marketing you've got to get into a creative space uh, in building your luxury brand out from what you're doing and uh, it, it's crucial um, number one staging things like staging that that follows along with a whole luxury experience in getting creative with how you're going to present a listing online, your online marketing, your, your printed pieces. Um, showcase your creativity to show that you can become that creative person to get a sale for a home or to find a luxury property. So creative marketing is super important. Um, you want to also, if you're going to do in-house or open houses where people are actually coming, get creative with those. Do enhanced open houses. I, I know people here in town who have done art shows at open houses and um, having a combo there playing music or a top jewelry designer who's displaying their work. So there's all kinds of things and ways that you can do to attract and garner attention uh, to your listing and to what you're doing. Uh, so get creative with that. Uh, the last thing is you've got to build an online presence and this is twofold. This is for your personal and this is for your business. So like it or not, old folks, if you don't want to be tech centered, if you don't want to be online, too bad. You need to be online, okay? <laughs> because the first place that that 35 year old uh, heir apparent is going to look to buy their house is probably somewhere online. Will they find you? And if they do find you, what are they going to find? Do you have a website? Do you have great personal profiles on your social media? Are they representing you as the luxury person, as the person that they can trust and learn from? So these are just very basic things that you need to include and incorporate into your marketing. Creative thinking, creative marketing, online presence, and personalize your marketing so people can get to know you. And that's a wrap. Awesome. Oh, great. Thanks, guys.